What's going on YouTube? My name's Gingy Snaps. I play Vanguard. Yes, I did make it sound like an AA meeting, but you know what? Whatever. So, I'm here bringing you uh, my hero deck for standard. Uh, works out pretty well. <laughs> Excuse me, works out pretty well. Uh, and my locals usually, usually beats OTT in tournaments. Works out pretty well, pretty well. Uh, I've gone undefeated in a couple tournaments with this deck. And, yeah, all around pretty well, so without any further ado, let's get right on into it. Starter, tap the hyper. Easy peasy. We run tap the hyper. For grade threes, uh, we run four Asura Kaiser. Asura Kaiser is basically, like, how you win, almost. Like, Asura Kaiser is how you maintain appropriate pressure before you uh, go in for the kill. So... Whenever you drive check a grade 2 or greater card, you stand a rear guard. If it was a grade 3 or greater counter boss 1, give the stood rear guard 10k. This makes basically a majority of your deck a solid stand trigger, and it just adds more uh, additional attack pressure to come. We don't run perfect riser because this deck, while you don't need damage uh, to operate, it becomes very problematic uh, in terms of resource. I've tried perfect riser, I just was not a fan of it. Uh, then we got four Battle Door Fighter. Uh, Battle Door Fighter is kind of like your finisher. If you ride toward Battle Door Fighter, uh, and you have like a, was it Burst Riser or Turbo Riser? Burst Riser. Burst Riser, you basically make it a finesse where you need two cards to guard. You two, Counter Blast 1, Soul Blast 1, you choose a unit. Whenever that unit attacks, if your opponent wants to call guardians from their hand, they need to use two at the same time in order to successfully guard it. Easy peasy. On the rear guard circle, if you have three or more uh, rear guards, it becomes 17. So it's almost like Musashi, but you need to use Musashi on the vanguard, almost. Uh, on, the, on an Excel circle, it becomes 27, gets over magic numbers. So all around, easy peasy. Uh, and then we run two additional grade threes. The first one being Miss Splendor because this is a hero deck. So Miss Splendor kind of makes the magic numbers because whenever a hero attacks, your opponent cannot intercept, which is pretty effective. Makes it so that they need to use cards from hand if they want to guard stuff. Uh, and then so long as you have more rear guards than your opponent, that unit gets 3k. She is also a hero, so it does work on herself, which is which is really nice. And then the last one is a maximum riser because having a 3200 attack uh, on an Excel circle is freaking phenomenal. So we run 10 grade threes, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, nothing to even worry about. Uh, for our grade twos, we run four cup bowler because having heroes is nice. Uh, four cup bowler because. Uh, it's 1400 if you have another hero, which, <coughs> excuse me, uh, if you're playing it decently enough, you will. It will become a 1400, 2400 on an Excel circle. Really nice, really nice, really easy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. This deck is not difficult, difficult, lemon difficult to, to pilot. It's a really simple deck to pilot. Uh... For Burst Riser, because this is almost mandatory in Nova Grapplers, uh, when your opponent attack or when, not your opponent, when your Vanguard attacks, Counter Blast 1, Soul Blast 1, stand it. If your opponent's had four more cards in their damage zone, it gains 3,000 3, power. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, guarantees an additional attack because, again, we don't run Perfect Riser. So, kind of need that guaranteed attack. Uh, we then run... Three of the best Nova Grappler in the game. IMO. Uh, no, it's it's extra muscular. Whenever you stand it, it gains 3k. So if you have it during the stand phase of your turn, it automatically becomes a 12k. And then if you stand it again, it becomes a 15, etc, etc, etc. It's not a once per turn. It's really nice. It's, it's extra muscular. Easy peasy. It's a hero. And then... Two King of Sword, uh, I don't have my correct errata copies, but basically, Soul Last 1, two units get 3k, and then if you have five more units, they get 5k instead. Easy peasy, I could be wrong in that number calculation, but moral of the story is that it helps get to, uh, 
it helps get to numbers, basically. So, only two, though. Not too big of a fan of it. Uh, that's it for grade twos. On to grade ones. Uh, for Rocket Hammer Man, this is the only grade one that we play four of. Uh, Rocket Hammer Man, boosts a hero, soul blast one, gets 5,000 power. Easy peasy. It's solid. It's nice. Uh, two Death Army Guy, because I'm a scrub. Uh, two Death Army Guy. If you're going first, it becomes a 9k base that your opponent needs one to pass to get over, which, again, this deck doesn't really care about having damage by the time you're on, like, turn two or turn three. Real, the only thing that matters in terms of damage is, like, Burst Riser and then Sir Kaiser if you want to send something off of a drive track of, of a grade three. But having a 9k base on an Excel circle or just as a booster, it's pretty nice. You could swap it out with literally anything, though. Uh, I tried the, ri the riser package of the starter 1 and 2, and I, I was not the biggest fan of it. I'm not going to lie. Uh, 2 jet riser. Jet riser helps make uh, magic number boosts, or just magic numbers on rear guard circles. Whenever your other rear guard is placed, it gets 3k. So on placement, it becomes 17. You place another thing, 20. Another thing, 23, already connecting with a uh, defensive trigger force. Easy peasy. I was playing four, but then uh, Queen of Hearts came along. Honestly, you can run four Jet Riser and f no Death Army guy. More to the story. You do you. Edit this deck how you want. Uh, Queen of Hearts, whenever your opponent sentinels, we stand it. It's fucking busted. Uh, put this, put this shit in on an Excel circle. It's, it's great. Stack it with a crit. It's, it's a fun time all around. I love Queen of Heart. Queen of Heart is solid. It, it uh, it makes, no, it makes, uh, pressure more lively. Which, going into it, uh, we get, we come to triggers in which we're running six crit. We're running six crit, uh, because I was originally running fronts, and the front triggers weren't really doing all that much, uh, considering the fact that my main vanguard, that the main vanguard is a Surakaiser. So basically, crits add more pressure. Uh, it's a different kind of pressure than uh, risers usually do. Risers make make it uh, difficult to uh, block attacks. Uh, most riser decks that I've seen run like six six front, six draw, or whatnot, and rarely do they. Do they run crits? But uh, basically, it makes it difficult for them to block one attack, so they're more likely to eat other attacks. Uh, crits make it so that uh, they need to guard more and uh, more. What's the word I'm looking for? More urgently, because you know, crits damage easy peasy lemon squeezy. We got six of them, easy peasy. Uh, other thing that we run six of is six draw because hand advantage is something that I desperately need in this deck. So we got that three minutes best draw trigger in the game. Not gonna lie. And then naturally we got four heals. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Deck's really easy to pilot. Not gonna complain about it. Uh, I've been a bit out of touch with it because I've had other decks to to build and have had other decks to play so but all around this this deck is fun it's easy uh, if you want to get into the game it's really not that hard it's rather cheap honestly that's kind of the first reason why I built it was because it was cheap uh, but then the second reason was that oh hey this is this is getting me all the wins at my locals so all around really phenomenal Solid deck, easy to play, nothing to worry about. Hate it what you want, I know it's bad, but you know what, when it wins, it wins. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, do what you want. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.